couple of days ago, we read a really odd story in the Torah. Okay, we read a story about the first two brothers. Has anyone ever met brothers who ever fight? Yes. Yes! <laughs> yes. 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 Sorry. My sorry. Okay, I I am the I am the youngest of three brothers, so I can tell you a thing or two about brothers who take karate and, uh, and are older and bigger than you. So, but then my, my brother stopped taking karate and started taking jujitsu instead. Yeah, that wasn't better. So, these two brothers were so at odds that the first brother was really upset, okay? And God told him, don't worry, Kayan, excellent. Kayan was upset because his younger brother was doing better than him. God accepted the younger brother's prayers and offering. He didn't accept the older brother's. He, he was trash. very, very annoyed. And I know from experience, you know, that when a younger brother is better than an older brother, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I hope my brothers aren't watching this on YouTube. Right? Yeah. It off. So, what happens is, what happens is he gets upset and God tells him, don't worry, Kayan, because if you do good, everything is great. But if you mess up, if you do bad, then sin is jumping at the doorway, meaning it's trying to get in. Now, let me ask you a question. What is it? What is it inside of us that convinces people, guys, try to stay settled? They're not to walk up and down and now walk up. What is it that convinces people to do wrong? <laughs> the Yitzhar is the Hebrew word. Can anyone think of a different way to put it? Who? Oh. Evil demon on your shoulder? Evil angel. Okay. Evil angel. Always looks like. That's a demon. Like, yeah. An evil angel is a demon. Evil inclination. It's actually yeah. An evil angel. It's actually not necessarily an angel. Always. It's actually, and this is why it's hard a part of your mind, okay? A part of all of our minds whispers to us, whispers to us some things that we shouldn't be doing. You ever know, notice you're deciding whether to do something or not do something, and there's a voice in your head that says do it, there's a voice that says not to do it, and they both sound like you, right? One of them is a good part of you, one of them is a negative part of you, okay? What's the trick? The trick is a can of soda. I'll explain why. Are you close enough? Yeah, I'm good. I'm close. The trick is. Guys, sorry, buddy. Imagine for a moment. Any of you guys ever been? Aquarium. Yes, yeah. me. Yes. Everybody. And there's been a million movies. And there's a big shark tank, not the TV show. And there's shark tank. And there's right thousands of gallons of water. And there's a glass wall separating you, right? Yeah. That glass wall, you know, is strong enough to hold back the water, right? Yeah. What happens if someone makes a tiny little Crack. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Then what happens? Because a big crack and they're silly. Right, if you make a tiny little crack, then everything comes rushing in. Okay? It's the same thing, guys, with the negative part inside of us. If we totally block it out, we don't listen to it at all, we always do what we should do, then it can't get in. But if you make even a tiny, teeny, tiny, eensy, weensy little hole, okay, that's going to be really as spectacular as I hope it 